Hello everyone! Welcome back to my floss tube. It's time to make another episode. Um, I don't have very much to show you. Uh, I have a little bit of uh, progress um, pictures. No, project pro progress to show you. Uh, tiny, tiny, tiny little bit uh, of hole. Um, I'm thinking, have I gotten something more than my scroll frames? I don't know, but I have made a few orders, um, but uh, some of it is hand-dyed fabric and it takes time to get here, of course, because it's going to be dyed first. I have uh, some other fabric I ordered uh, because I want a gift card uh, by Rachel Ray. Go check her uh, channel out. And, um, and I made some order from the States. No, not the States. Canada. Yeah. And um, I was supposed to get like one kit and um, I ordered just a little bit more um, don't tell anyone or anyone oh yeah and I did purchase a couple of new patterns from heaven and earth as well damn I needed to show you guys that on my iPad so I don't have to edit everything um, Hold that thought. I'll be back. Yeah, <clears throat> it's kind of all the editing that uh, kind of it takes a lot of time uh, after I made the YouTube uh, it's not that I edit that much anymore um, but you know it's the converting the video and then exporting the video and then uploading it to YouTube that takes a lot of time so I'm trying not to um, I don't, I don't want to edit. So yeah. Uh, what now? I wanted to show you. I'm watching. I'm trying to. Uh, get uh, what do you call it? Jesus, my English is horrible today, or. As usual. Anyway, I'm watching this channel at the moment and it's all white country stitchers. Very nice uh, YouTube channel. Uh, but I think a lot of you guys already know that. Uh, yeah, so I will try to see if I can. I don't have any of them here. Hmm. Do I need to go to my drive? Oh, I'm going to make a, a video soon uh, about all my heaven and earth designs patterns because I've collected them all. I've sorted it um, on my drive. Uh, so yeah, here it is. So one day I'm going to show you um, we're, or we're just going to take a look at all the patterns I have from Heaven and Earth Designs, which I, which I even, you know, I even haven't started, you know, kidding up or anything. Uh, yeah, so Heaven and Earth Designs. Uh, I have made a, a couple of, uh, or a few uh, stitch along videos uh, with Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And I promised to finish uh, the color 
I think it was 8.20, but now I don't remember. But I finished both 8.20 and 9.39 on the section where I'm stitching. And then I noticed that there was a little thing. So this is my progress. I noticed this thing here and I got a little bit uh, curious of what it might be. So I started focusing on that um, thing. <laughs> I think it's like a knight or something or a statue. Um, so I picked a color in that, uh, let's say statue, uh, and finished all of the symbols here. And then I saw that there were uh, the same symbols up here. So I picked a strand of, you know, um, whatever, you know, DMC is like six strands. So I finished six strands of that color and then I picked a new symbol, finished all the symbols here. And then I saw symbols over here. I finished the six strands of that color. So I was jumping like that back and forth. So first I thought, well, that's not going to take a lot of time, but it did because it is max colors on a super sized pattern. So it is like confetti. I mean that what you see there, that's not a lot of colors or maybe it is, but it's really confetti heavy. And I love confetti. It's not that, uh, that's usually for me makes that, mm, you know, that special detail. However, it is tiresome. And this weave, the easy guide, it's kind of hard. It's a, it's a rough weave or a rough uh, fabric. And it's a 25 count, by the way. Um, so I, got a lot of pain in my fingertips, especially in my uh, right hand and especially the middle finger. Um, and also I have some problems with these um, joints, I think it's called in English. Um, I get, especially the, <laughs> the middle finger, I get a lot of pain in that joint. And I think it's because when I press down the needle like this, I get a pressure on this joint, which caused me pain. Uh, so I felt I needed a break from heaven and earth. And I jumped over to uh, soft as steel and I thought, well, I missed parking and, uh, and I'm using parking on, on uh, that design. And I wanted to try di diagonal stitching, so I started that, um, but yeah, I just didn't feel for it. So what did I do then? I went to my Mirabilia and it's on 28 count hand dyed. I bought the fabric on Etsy. It's super soft, it's super nice. And you're using two strands over two on 28 count. And it's so simple compared to confetti heavy 25 count with one strand. And I put in some beads. And this is my progress on this beautiful Mirabilia so far. It's so nice to see it in in the camera. I'm so happy. Sorry for the microphone. Uh, what I'm a little bit worried about is that I've beaded uh, some and when I put it on the scroll frame, you can see in my like between my eyes, you see the bulkiness there. Yeah. So those are beads and some people like, for example, I've asked a uh, stitcherist, stitcherista, stitcherista about this, how she does uh, with the beads, because she's 
she told us in one of our videos that she, you know, beads along the way. And I like the thought because you kind of get a, a variation of, you know, cross stitching, back stitching, beading. Uh, and it looks very nice to look at. And I'm afraid that um, I'm going to miss some of the beads if I don't do it as I go. Uh, and she said, well, she doesn't have that hard tension on her scroll bars. So she beats her mirabilia. She doesn't have any problems whatsoever. But she also told me that some people do get marks in their fabric when they do it like she does. So I was thinking, I love this first mir mirabilia, really. Makes me think of my older sister because she loves Christmas. Uh, so, even though if I, even though I love the design and everything, it is my first mirabilia, and I'm thinking she has to be that first where I'm learning how to actually stitch a mirabilia and how. It's working for me and what I would like to, you know, change along the way or for the next Mirabilia. So if it will leave some marks, okay. I guess that's okay. Yeah. Oh, and I found a framer's place in, we don't have it anymore here in the city Trollhättan is where I live, Trollhättan in Swedish, uh, but in Gothenburg, which is like uh, 80 kilometers away from here, uh, but they wrote on their homepage that they're uh, framing uh, cross stitch works as well. So I need to take one of my works, my pieces over there, like my mini Sunday delight with from uh, Randall Spangler, uh, charted by Heaven and Earth, uh, to you know see what the pricing is, uh, are they doing a good job, and everything. Yes. So those two pieces. I have two more. The piece that I've been working on when my daughter is at her dance. When she's dancing, I have a couple of hours. I've had that this semester, uh, but next year she's gonna dance Wednesdays and Thursdays, so that's like an hour each time, which will, you know, give me two hours. But it's it's a bit different that having one hour uh, and having two hours. You know, you have to. Well, I think you get my point. So this is my progress on my. Uh, Squirrels of Sumatra by Ink Circles. And today I felt like I need to put in a few stitches. Uh, oh my God, I'm having it backwards. <laughs> you. Oh my God, I showed you the back of my work. Here we go again. Here is <laughs> the progress on the right side. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. Yeah, it's like, could it be like 10 in the morning? Morning. Uh, anyway, I felt like I wanted to put in a few stitches today. So um, I've been curious about the border going around. And now I didn't get the border in the picture. All these hand dyed fabrics is like, it's all worth it. It's so beautiful. So I put in a little bit of the border. This is so nice. It's like art. I don't know. It's uh, so beautiful. And I'm stitching it on 28 count one over one and i'm using uh the, th the the threads called for was gloriana silk thread hand dyed i'm 
very beautiful and it's so si soft and nice it's called acorns and it's perfect because it's for squirrels yeah and the fabric is called snurt it's from mystic fabrics yeah 28 count lugana and you know it's like one of these beginner mistakes uh, because since I've been stitching heaven and earth for such a long time when I hear 28 count I'm thinking one over one so that's why I started doing that same thing with my Harry Potter stitch along and it's you know when I see other people stitching these project projects I realize that when you stitch these kind of things you usually I guess stitch two over two so that's why it's teeny tiny teeny tiny but it's gonna look freaking amazing when it's done yeah so, so it's a slow progress but you know I'm getting there and uh, I'm starting to realize that I might have should have ordered maybe a skein or skein skein or two more of the Gloriana silks but I thought I calculated it correctly so but I wonder if it's gonna be enough because I'm just on the second page and I think there is like one two three four <coughs> six pages mm. we'll see about we'll see about that and then yesterday I called my mom we haven't really met that many times since you know this whole business starting in the world uh, so since March somewhere sometime and then I called her today uh, yesterday no I called her you know a couple of days ago and asked her if you know she would be fine if I came over to her place to have you know a day where we um, I'm stitching and she's diamond painting and you know just to have a cup of coffee stitch and chat and you know kind of keep the distance and she wanted that so I went there yesterday and then I wanted to start my um, owl forest embroidery from Russia is it Russia? I think it's from Russia. Uh, and I love this kit. I, I, I've said it before. It's like home for me. This is, this is, you know, Sweden. So, and what I was really looking forward to this is that it's going, it's stitched on 32 count uh, bell fast swagart linen and I don't have a lot of good experience with the 32 count but that's the heaven and earth way I, I stitched one over one on 32 count which is like ugh, I'm not gonna do that but I was thinking this is like two over two and two over two on 28 count is like it feels like that the 28 count is almost too big and I know that the mirabilias are stitched on the 32 count. So I was very curious. So this is part of the pattern. You know, you get a full pattern. It's actually cut in three pieces. And then they give you uh, sheets where you can cut out parts of the patterns in small pieces like this. And I started in the middle. And it was so nice. I was so happy about the linen and I, it looks beautiful. Let's show you on the right side. And it's such, it's such a small project. And I'm feeling like this is possible, you know, to finish. And it's a variegated hand dyed thread. I mean, seriously look at that house I thought I was going to finish the whole house but it takes time to stitch I'm very very happy about it it's 
that's also a little bit of progress. So that's that. Did I stitch on anything else? No, that's the four projects. And you know, I love my heaven and earth designs. And when I get into the heaven and earth design mood, I'm like, I'm all for it. I love it. Um, and I said, as I said, it's always about you know, the progress and all this. But then when I start stitching these other s projects where, where I feel like a newbie, you know, I'm enjoying it so much. And it, you know, all the threads, I've never heard about all these dinky dyes and clockworks and Gloriana and Valdani, whatever you, there's so much to explore. And all the beautiful hand dyed fabrics that I would never ever, you know, have the joy of using when stitching it and having an earth designs unless it's like you know the grand master where you know you're not stitching the background uh, yeah i'm sure that you people out there have a lot of different thoughts about that this but this is my thoughts yeah yes so that's my progress and this is how i towed around the, you know this, what, the one I'm stitching when, where my daughter is, when she's dancing, I have it, you know, always packed in this bag. And now I added the one, uh, which I stitched at my mom's place. And we decided, me and my mom, that um, we're gonna try to meet up like once a week for ho hopefully at least now when I'm, I'm going on vacation in a week, I'm sorry. I have three more days to work and then I'm, whew, I have time off for like f almost four and a half weeks. It's going to be so nice. So, but um, since I have the position I have, I know my hair looks horrible. Uh, I can't, you know, be off, off. I need to be kind of available. So we'll see how much headache I'll have, but I'm seriously looking forward to have some time off and it's awesome weather outside i should you know be out hiking and everything um but i'm so into stitching now so i can't like oh, help myself and um uh since you know uh, i don't know if we can travel out we can travel outside sweden it's not like we do it anyway uh but they've uh, uh, led, they've taken away the restrictions we have from traveling inside the country um, and usually we like to go to the mountains in the summertime um, but we have decided to you know stay put at home because we think it is a we don't think it's a, a good thing to let us you know travel around uh, I mean the emergency of this whole thing is not over. We're gonna live with it for years. So we have decided to stay home, enjoy, and we're gonna kinda <laughs> clean our place and throw stuff and maybe rearrange a little bit in uh, our daughter's room. Uh, so that's like the summer plans and I'm totally fine with it, you know. You know, the thought of uh, sleeping, you know, and not be, uh, you know, and not to have the alarm clock ringing in the morning, you know, when it's Thursday, I'm like, I'm going to die because I know I need to get up early another day. So I'm one of those people who has a really rough time getting up in the morning when it's work, because when I'm off, I wake up early and then I'm like yeah it's stitching time let's go up make some coffee and start stitching it I'm sorry I'm having a good day yes so that was the progress now to the little tiny tiny little haul I ordered some Omnic frames Omnic I ordered 
two quantum frames from the Omnic factory in Estonia. I think it's Estonia. It took three days to get here once they shipped it. It took like five days for them to process the order. So like a week, seven, eight days. And I had the, the frames. That's just amazing. And I was like, holy Lord, that's awesome. It's awesome. They get so much good um, uh, reviews and the pricing is quite nice. So once you know you have these side bars, I think, yeah, the side bars, if you have a set of those, you know, you just need to buy the rods and those are not too expensive. The shipping wasn't too expensive because I live close by. I live close by, seriously. Sweden isn't that far away from Estonia and we're like in the union together. So everything works so easy. And I was like, I'm going to get bars, <laughs> no rods in every size. So I haven't ordered them all. Don't worry. Uh, but I think I will, you know, stash up a little bit with them. So. I put my mirabilia on the quantum and I was so happy and it was like, they look so nice. They remind me so much of my millennium frame, which I have two bars of. I have my, um, monster, grand monster duck on this set. Put it on, looks nice. I start tensioning uh, the piece. And it doesn't tension, it just starts sagging. And I'm like, what's going on here? Because I've never experienced that with my Millennium frame. And it's not that, you know, with Millennium frames, you could, since I have the side uh, bars, the straight not the stretchers, but you know, the side things, which are quite expensive. I just need to order the bars, but I know that the Millennium uh, fabric, whatever, those people who make the necessary floor stand and the frames and stuff, that there is a very long uh, time for it, for, for waiting time to get your stuff. And some people haven't even gotten their order. Um, so I was like, I love the frames. I would definitely, if I knew that I would get the stuff like within the half year, I would be fine with it. But when I start reading comments about that, they have never ever even received their order um, or waiting an, a year or something, I get a little bit worried. So. I was so happy to get the Omnic stuff. They answered the mails fast and everything. So I really like that. Um, so I was very disappointed when the fabric didn't tension. It started sagging instead. And uh, I didn't know how I was going to search YouTube for, you know, tips about it. Because I was thinking I can't be the only one who has had this problem. And I started looking on Facebook and stuff. I'm not a good, I'm not good at, you know, Googling or searching and how to, which phrases to put in to find the information I need. So as a last try, I asked on the heaven and earth designs, uh, Facebook group. Uh, because I knew that uh, they have uh, been doing business with these people before. I didn't, they don't sell their frames anymore. I don't know why. Um, but they did at some point. And I was so lucky that some people over there um, answered my troubles. And gave me a great tip about how you should... deal with it. Let me grab my other fabric to show you. So they told me, bring out your um, sewing machine and sew like a 
channel or hem or something like like as if you were gonna uh, sew a curtain and then you take this thin rod and you pull it through the channel here and you know and insert it in the the big rod so this thin rod should fit in the channel in the fabric uh, and then the fabric can only slide to where you've stitched and then you put it on the big rod and then you turn and that has helped a lot it does loosen up a little bit but it's like when i'm stitching but i don't know if it's just me handling the bar the frame itself or something but it's not like sagging so i just tension it a little bit and keep stitching so i'm very happy about that and so thankful for the people and stitchers who gave me the tip it just made my day and i wish i could you know uh, send my gratitude to her uh, so but mwah, i love you thank you um so that's um i'm a quantum framer now so and the, the great thing i'm out of camera sorry uh the great thing about uh the these scroll scroll frames is it fits perfect with my larry stand and how i'm sitting in the living room uh, uh so i really like that you can get the scroll frames in different sizes so i might invest in one one or two smaller ones um yes so i bought two patterns from heaven and earth designs and i'm gonna bring it bring it on i'm gonna find it here so i bought couch dragon i bought couch dragon which is um a randall spangler look at this cutie now i'm gonna see if i can so yeah couch dragon oh it's so nice it's 400 400 by 206 randall spangler yeah it's so nice uh and then uh, they were having a day uh for all black lives matters uh so when you bought patterns on that day all the i think she donated everything uh to this cause or if it was if it was ten dollars per pattern so i made up my mind that i wanted to get the fantastic voyage a bookshelf by amy stewart and i wanted the super sized and i came to a decision to go for the regular colors just to get more enjoyable stitching so i waited for that day before i ordered it i would have bought couch dragon then too but i didn't know then uh fantastic voyage f why isn't it here oh it's a super sized so it should be in super sized let's see super sized why can't i find it Okay, where have I put it? Hmm. 
that was uh, it's called the fantastic voyage biggest oh my god i can't wait to get started on this look at that oh Seriously, there's like a human being in there or something. Uh. I don't understand why I haven't started this chart earlier. <laughs> uh. There's not a lot of people. I haven't seen a lot of them stitching this design. So it is a 994 by 760, 90 colors, and I didn't want to get the easy guide because it's so uh, rough, the fabric, and I kind of get pain in my fingers. And I saw someone who's stitching it uh, also as a super sized max color. She uses green fabric and it looks fantastic also i was thinking you know maybe you won't get that much uh, like see-through on the fabric if you do that so i was uh drawn as the patron of may for rachel ray i'm a patron of hers and i think the price was to um uh, get a diamond painting from her stash uh, but she told me she knew that i'm i'm not a diamond painter and uh, she appreciated that i've been a supporter since the beginning when she became a patron well uh, when she opened up patron i was one of the first ones there uh, so uh, yeah she asked me what i wanted and i'm like oh, you know i I'm the one so, supposed to support her, so it felt difficult, but I was like, if I, if I can choose, I would rather choose something cross-stitch uh, uh, yeah, something related to cross-stitching, of course. But I said that a diamond painting from her stash would be totally fine. It's not that I don't like diamond paintings. Yeah. I still have a little bit of stash. I gave away all my Diamond Art Club's round drills to my mom. So now she has a big stash and I have all the squares left. So I've a few ones I have left. Anyway, so she gifted me a, a voucher, a gift card on Lakeside, Lakeside Needlecraft. Um, it just blew me away. I. I was like all in tears. I'm like, what have I done to deserve such a nice thing? And I've been having a, a little bit of a rush, a rough time. I don't know if it's myself or my work or whatever. It's, 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 uh, yeah, it came very, in a very good time uh, where I needed the appreciation. So, uh, Rachel, if you're watching this, uh, I w I'm also going to write you an email, but I, um, I ordered some uh, dark gray fabric for my fantastic voyage, which I'm like drooling all over for. So it, it has been sent away. I think it has arrived to Sweden. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to get the fabric and to have to feel it and smell it. I, I'd like to do that. I don't know. It's, I guess it's <laughs> a bit weird, but, um, I was supposed to order a, um, a kit for it, a thread pack from, from Barb. Uh, it's called the cross stitching thread packs on Facebook. Uh, but she's holding back a little bit on, uh, on the orders and it's going to be like I think she's going to make eight thread packs a month uh, and I mean it's grown a lot for her so I 
totally understand that you don't have time for us crazy people. <laughs> so anyway, from the 1st of July, she's going to start taking orders for thread packs within the UK. And from the 1st of August, she says that she's going to take orders for overseas. And since there's some sea between England and Sweden, I'm one of those. So I have to wait. And uh, I'm a very impatient person when I've set my mind to something. So I don't know if I'm just going to do one of those. I have my DMC collection over here. We're off camera. If I'm going to just use the thread and hopefully if I need to get some other skeins or yeah, I kind of already told her that I want to make an order, but I don't know. I haven't heard much from her. So she just says, you know, you have to wait for August. Okay. So I don't know how long uh, the line of, you know, how long the line in a waiting line is. I mean, she's getting quotes and orders all the time. So I don't know. Um, and it's not going to be possible to buy, I mean, the DMC skeins here uh, because it's like one half, one and a half, two dollars a skein. So it's just, it's, it's too much. So I don't know how I'm gonna handle it. Um, yeah, we'll see. So maybe I just have to wait to start my fantastic, fantastic voyage, which is sad because I'm really feeling I want to I would like to stitch in hand or something. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I hope I hope the fabric isn't too hard or rough or stiff, whatever you call it. So, Rachel, thank you very, very much. It's it was so appreciated. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, why did I talk about that? Oh, because I showed the the order yes so those these things were like kind of the whole uh, and uh, what is also cool i just need to mention it i got a mail from crafty kitten i know i've been a customer there for quite a while uh, i know she made the thread packs way before a long time ago yeah and uh, they're having a 10 year anniversary and I was picked out as a, a winner there and I got a voucher for 10 pounds, I think. So, yay. Yeah, so I'm like, which hand dyed fabric am, am I gonna get? I'm like, I'm all, almost certain. Uh, I uh, had thought about it before. I want to stitch my long dog sampler I have the life after death on first when I saw Heike on um, Stone Cold Cro Coffee Crafts when I saw her um, she showed some white silks from silks for you oh my god I was like I want to stitch with that it was shiny it was so nice I, went, oh, I was like I need to stitch with that and then I was thinking I would like some dark hand dyed no dark blue hand dyed fabric but then i was like maybe you know the fabric will show through a little bit too much i'm not sure should i stitch one over one or two over two or one over two yeah so i've been debating it back and forth and then i decided well maybe i should use like an orange like Halloween crazy fabric, hand dyed of course. And maybe, well, black would be nice, but I like the feeling of stitching with Gloriana, for example. So I'm thinking maybe some purplish or bluish um, hand dyed threads. But when I was offered, you know, when I won this voucher, I was thinking, I will look through the hand dyed fabrics that Crafty Kitten has and she does have some dark blue and I saw 
Uh, again, Rachel Ray, she's stitching her long dog on a beautiful hand-dyed fabric from, I think it's the Mystic, uh, Mystic Fabrics, but she's using a teal color on hers. So I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe I should go back to the first thought, dark blue and white silks. So that's the plan. So, and I've ordered quite a lot, stone cold coffee grounds. <laughs> She's like, mm, the enabler, enabler. Uh, she said, go to traditional stitches. They're like awesome to order from. And I was gonna get one kit. And as I said, I ordered a little bit more. So we'll see. It says uh, they need about two weeks to gather the order. And then they're gonna ship it and it's all the way from Canada to here. So it might be the end of the summer before it gets here. And I don't know how the postage works between Sweden and Canada. So I don't know. Anyway, I can see on my camera that I'm like 46 minutes in. And sometimes I wonder, I just say to myself, Linda, don't make the YouTube because you have nothing nothing to talk about so i was supposed to show you my my stash uh, i've showed you my heaven and earth stash i think it was last time or something no a couple of times ago anyway i was thinking to show you i have a bag full of stash from the time before i knew about heaven and earth uh, and I wanted to show that because I don't remember what I have in the bag. It would be really fun to take a look at it. Um, but this video is very long, so I'm going to do a separate video where I show you the stash before <laughs> Heaven and Earth designs. Period or whatever. Yeah. So uh, I think this will be all. I'm going to take another sip of my very favorite coffee coffee cup yeah yeah thank you all for uh, the subscribers new subscribers are coming along all the way all the time uh it's very much appreciated and it's so much appreciated that all of you has uh, decided to uh subscribe uh, earlier and your sticking with me it's very appreciated so if you have any comments or questions or yeah anything just you know leave a comment below and um, for you guys watching this video and haven't subscribed yet don't forget to do that because then I will see you next time thank you for watching everyone Bye.